91 of the 111 pros score five bass limits on day two of the Minnesota Top 100. Florida's Peter Tillaveros, with 20 pounds, 8 ounces on the scales, charges out front. His two-day total, 41 pounds, 6 ounces. But hardly a commanding lead. Just one ounce behind is Jim Bitter. And Rob Kilby jumps from fifth to third place with a tournament best bag of 22 pounds, 9 ounces. Rob's only one pound shy of the top spot. Yesterday's leader, Ken McIntosh, drops to fourth, followed by Mike Terry and David Fritz. Peter T's lure selection is offbeat for Minnetonka Bassett as Rick Pelletier, a member of the Classic Bass Club of nearby Bloomington, explains. He's throwing a Carolina rig craw, and typically we don't throw that a lot up here in Minnesota. Most people will be throwing plastic worms or jigs up on weed edge, and Peter's throwing a Carolina rig that's about a two and a half, three foot leader, and he's dragging it across his bar right outside the weed edge very slow, very methodically, and I think that's what's triggering those bigger fish to strike. They're the same baits that I use all the time whenever I'm fishing a Carolina rig. One's a crawfish and one's a lizard. The crawfish, sometimes the particular lakes, crawfish hatches going on, or maybe fish are just more prone to eating crawfish than they would be, uh, say, a lizard. Lizards are usually better in the spring, uh, sometimes late in the fall, but in the summertime, a crawfish bite is usually going on pretty good. Usually, if it's one's not working, the other one is. So that, that's about how, how simple it gets. Um, color schemes, I always try and stick with my browns, uh, something that looks natural. Try not to get too, too crazy. And if I feel like adding any color to them, I'll, I'll take and, and put some dye on the tail or on the claws and just dip the tips of the pinchers in. And let it dry for a second. It just gives it a little bit of color. Something a little bit shiny. Same thing with the lizard. Just take the tail and drop it in and just give it a little bit of color. If fish get used to one thing or another, if I just if it's a dark day, sometimes I'll put a chartreuse tail on it. Well, that's number two for Peter T. Things are a little bit slower here this morning. And he's hoping that they'll pick up. Let's check over with Rob Kilby. Yesterday, Rob Kilby scored his heavyweight sack with a half ounce nickel spinner bait along weed line points. But he's had to change tactics. I couldn't get him to couldn't get him to bite that spinner bait. I don't know why. The wind, wind's blowing and conditions are perfect. I, I really don't think that the fish are biting. They fed so well yesterday. David Fritz timetable is right on schedule. A Carolina-rigged Zoom centipede lure is paying off along a rocky shoal. Let's check back in on Peter T., the tournament leader. He's in Wyzetta Bay. That's number three for Peter T. It's been about 30 minutes since he caught his second fish, and things are a little bit slower this morning. But fellow Floridian Jim Bitter is on his starting spot. Jim's hot spot hasn't cooled off yet. This bass will fill his five bass limit and over 18 pounds for today. A Carolina rigged Bigfoot lizard is still working along the weed line point. Over in the West Bay arm, David Fritz is hooking big fish on a small bait, a four inch centipede a do-nothing looking lure. He's rigged it Carolina style with an 18 inch leader. David Fritz is leaping up the leaderboard. The Fritz Blitz is back on. Ooh, he's got another one. Dang, another giant. <laughs> Betty, this right here is it now. Don't you look how strong these fish are. He's got my arm broke. That dang zoom worm. Gosh. Stay down. Oh, yes. Mercy. Y'all go now. <laughs> 